and number one on the old hit parade in Facebook, of course, is the one, the only Sharon Hunley Chesley. And uh, I think she actually deserves a, a round of studio applause. Come on. There we go. Yeah. No, now, now there's a reason why I say that. Yes. You know, she has listened to our hot garbage show for 11 years. <laughs> right? Right. Sex is only the tip of the iceberg. No, listened, not sexed with. So what do you... Right. Listen to the show, Louis. She, she, she. You know, we, we, we talk and stuff, and she tunes in and, and listens and hears. Right? It's, right. You know. Also, uh, Laura Marie Nicole. She is. Uh, oh, never mind. She declined our invite to like the page. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll do a new segment. It's it's coffee and cigarettes haters. Right. Uh, James Gefsky uh, liked On Air Media, which is, of course, our parent company. And he didn't like our show, so piss on him. Okay. Right. Yeah. And, of course, as always, the one, the only associate producer of Coffee and Cigarettes, of course, the one, the only Gene Costine. Yeah, he's, he's still kicking around. And, and also, I, I got to do it tonight because people are asking. Yes. Uh, they're even asking on the page. They're like, yes. what the fuck's up with this Weinstein guy? Yes. What, what? <laughs> right. All right. Relax, everybody. Uh, Barry Weinstein is, of course, one of our biggest fans on Facebook, it seems. Yes. And he has absolutely no relation whatsoever with Bob or Harvey. <laughs> All right. Right. At least that's what he says. I mean, as far as I know, in court records, yes. you know, <laughs> that they don't have a third brother. But you can't be too sure because there was a fifth Beatle, right? So, right. you know, you never can tell about that stuff. Uh, also, of course, Marnie Hawksworth, uh, Wayne S. Pierce, and... Many, many other assorted people who seem to like wasting time with us. Anyway, right. There you go. Yeah. So an absolute big thank you to all of them for everything they, they do and say about the show. Yes. You know, uh, uh, Michael and a couple others, they've been, they've been retweeting and... Yes. and putting out uh, links and telling people, you know, go watch this, go listen to this, all this stuff. And yes. uh, it's pretty cool because, you know, what they've essentially done is they're, they're, they're getting this big mob of people yes. who are all coming over, of course, and listening to the show. Yes. And then they go to his house with pitchforks and torches. <laughs> and Right. Right. <laughs> and they, they want to kill him for wasting their time. <laughs> No, I, I don't think that's what it is. Yes. <laughs> I think I just pooped. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we're five steps away from winning the Academy Award. Right. And we didn't. <laughs> right. I'm sorry. Did somebody say something? <laughs> right. I go a half an hour. Do I get 50000 Oh, all right. You want money. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. What are you going to do with that now? 20, I tried to, I need to try and raise $25,000 to enter in the Academy Awards. And I think it's a fantastic risk yeah. because we have a tremendous chance. Two hundred. Uh, there's about 200 members that vote on it, and they all get, you have to give them a DVD now. I know. I know. Those those DVDs are expensive. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, <clears throat> Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll 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 mention it in passing to some people on the show here. We'll <laughs> see what happens. Oh, is it coming in now? All right, here we go. The uh, the whistleblower press conference is uh, <laughs> happening. Let's, uh... All right, uh, here she is.
Yeah, you uh, heard it here first. There you go. Right. Yeah. All right, well, uh, Biff says it's time to go for that first commercial break. Yes. Don't do, worry, we, we don't do to you what other radio stations do to you. Yes. <laughs> no? No, we'll give you a half hour to an hour of full joy entertainment <laughs> before we ever try to stick a dirty, dirty, dirty commercial in your ear. Right? Right? <laughs> Yeah, it's not like those other radio stations that come back for a minute and a half, yes. and then they're sticking seven commercials in your ear. <laughs> right. Yeah, no. <laughs> we don't do that here. Mr. T would be proud of you. Well, yes, he would. Yes, he would. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go for that first commercial break. Don't you worry. When we come back, we've got an absolute shitstorm <laughs> right. of incredible entertainment. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh my, we'll be back in two. With the timeless protection of ADT, it's safe to say... Hey Google, unlock the front door. When you've helped save more lives than any other home security brand, it's safe to say there's a reason millions of people trust ADT to help protect what matters most. If you have diabetes, it's important to have confidence in the nutritional drink you choose. Try Boost Glucose Control. It's clinically shown to help manage blood sugar levels and contains high-quality protein to help manage hunger and support muscle health. Try Boost today. Oh, are you using Liberty Mutual's coverage customizer tool? So you only pay for what you need. Sorry? Leave him, you're an animal! Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. When it comes to real estate agents, experience matters. The best agents know how to market your home for top dollar and navigate through a complex transaction. At Ideal Agent, we created our smart seller system with top rated local agents to sell your home for as low as a 2% commission. I was amazed in the fact that my house sold in one day. Ideal Agents saved me in the neighborhood of twenty dollars to $25,000 in commissions. The process was as easy as it gets. It was turnkey. I'm a very busy guy and they just took care of everything. They are the number one way to sell your house. I've used Ideal Agent two times. Ideal Agent guided me through the entire process, every step. You want to have the best agents, but you want to get the best deal. Using Ideal Agent with both properties, I've saved over $30,000. Our service is free, available nationwide, and there's zero obligation. Call us today or visit IdealAgent.com. SquirrelArms.com, we specialize in custom rifles built to your needs and specifications. We also do ownership transfers, gun sales, and even NFA items and complete processing. We're 100% veteran-owned and operated in our Class 2 SOT and Type 7 FFL certified. We are your one-stop licensed custom firearms manufacturer located in beautiful North Central Texas. Give us a call at 940-386-4628, email us at info at SquirrelArms.com, or visit SquirrelArms.com today. For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit mypillow.com. Uh, <laughs> Mr. T would be proud of you. Chicken Sonora, welcome back to the Coffee and Cigarettes WSPC, Ma. Yes. <laughs> we got it all going on. We got the girls, yeah. Yes. We got the rum, yeah. Yes. We got the G-strings. <laughs> We're going to have a freaky Friday night with you. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. The music is fantastic. Isn't it great? Oh, you got to hear it. <laughs> Now, you said you agreed to do this show because you said you just want to talk about how much you hate William Shatner. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, I did that like, I don't know, what, 10 years ago now? <laughs> right. You know, now that he's here and I've had a chance to meet him, yes. you know, and hang out with him and everything else, it's it's uh, it's justified. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. 
part of reaching an audience is being yourself. Well, and, and that's why I've always said, yes. you know, we, we don't pull any punches here. <laughs> we just don't, right? Right. <laughs> you know. The idea that by uh, going out into the world, by, by, by embracing the world, uh, you're better off than not than by shutting the, the door and no. and, uh, no. and, uh, and and trying not to be vulnerable. We're all vulnerable to the vicissitudes, but uh, you've got to keep going. Uh, otherwise, uh, you dry up and uh, you're going to die in the same length of time. You, you've got an allotted span, uh, uh, whatever that may be, and no. Uh, no. You, you hurry across the road, uh, even if you're even if you're, you're you're feeling trepidatious, so so really, Will, what you're saying is that you're you're more optimistic than pessimistic. Yes, that's pretty ballsy, given you're 90 years old. You know, <laughs> right? That's, uh, I don't know. My film Unrepented did very well in Europe. Right? Yeah, that's good. Uh, <laughs> What what year was that, Louis? Two thousand and nine, right? Yeah. Right. That's the famous story about Jerry Lee Lewis. You heard that story, haven't you? Uh, I... Sitting behind his desk at Paramount, uh, talking with big executives and, and TV people, and all of a sudden the chick pops up underneath, wipes off her mouth, and walks out the door. And Jerry doesn't have a knife. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about the business. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, of course, getting back to the business, of course, tonight's WSPC a Coffee and Cigarette segment here coming up now. Yes. The one with all the awesome singing in it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is brought to you by the fine folks at GunNutsUnited.com. Yes. They are united. Yes. They are gun nuts. Yes. <laughs> And they are here for you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Break for a commercial. Oh, yeah. Now's the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh. I remember growing up, it seemed like Juliet Prowse was on TV every day. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and nothing beats a great pair of legs. <laughs> right. Right. Now, I'm, I'm sure we've got people now that yes. listen to the show. They're like, you know, nowhere near old enough. Yes. Okay. <laughs> First of all, they're like, wait a minute. What Gilbert talking about? Juliet who? <laughs> right. Right. And, the, and then, of course, me with nothing beats a great pair of legs. Yes. They don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> right. Uh, well, there you go. We're back. Yeah. That was a mistake on my part. Yes, yes. You, <laughs> you always come back after the commercial, Louie. It's always a mistake. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, Juliet Prowse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, in case uh, you idiots are too lazy to go out and Google the fucking woman. <laughs> Yeah, she was a, well, she was an actress. Yes. A singer. Yes. Dancer. Yes. Great legs. <laughs> right. Yeah. There was also a company in the 70s. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Procter & Gamble. Yes. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, who actually owned them. The, the, the company was legs, right? And, of course, they, they made pantyhose. <laughs> I was always saddened, though, because yes. they, they had such great pantyhose. That, I mean, yes. they were good quality. Not that I wore them, but, <laughs> right. you know. I, I'm, I'm going off of what I heard from women, right? <laughs> right. You know, fucking don't look at me like that. Come on. Right. You, you're looking at me, Bill. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're doing it again. No, not at all. Yeah, you, you are. <laughs> anyway, legs. Yes. Man, those commercials. Right? Right. You know. Well, I, I was just young then. Yes. You know, like, like I was like, uh, what the hell? Wait a minute now. 78. Yes. I was thinking like 1978, I think, was the, the pinnacle of the legs commercials on TV. Yes. Um, <laughs> 78. So I would have been, 